I'm Mark Gibson, um, I'm obviously from McAlpine and I am the Managing Director for the Northern part of the business. I joined McAlpine's when I left school as a, as a trainee technician engineer um, and then basically developed my career um, with McAlpine's for a long number of years, working my way through as, as engineer, section engineer, chief engineer, um, project manager and then um, basically through to where I am now. Highlights for me are um, back in 2000, I was, um, I won an award for Engineer of the Year, which I was very proud of for the Anik, Anik Gardens, which is the big cascade that we built. So a very, very proud moment for my, in my career, being an lot of about 24, 25. Then in sort of 2007, um, got shortlisted for Construction Manager of the Year Award for uh, Education. Um, project that I built. Um, that was one of my first jobs as a project manager, but very proud to, to get highly commended in that. And then I guess really from how I've got where I am today, so came back to Calpines in 2013, and um, came back as Deputy um, Regional Manager at the time, um, working under Boyd McPhee. And then um, I guess getting promoted to um, Managing Director for the North East in Yorkshire. And then a few years after that, then taking on Scotland, um, and then recently over the last sort of 16, 18 months, taking over the North West. So, um, so yeah, being where I am now in the career path of being managing director for the North, and I guess also being a, a key member of the um, sort of management executive leadership team, obviously being responsible for the the day to day run of the overall business, and obviously reporting into the exec board. So, um, so yeah, some some very prominent highlights throughout throughout my career that I'm, I'm very proud of myself. What we're not doing as an industry, and I think it, it is a bit more prominent now, but definitely not noticed, I think that the range of skill sets and job roles um, that's out there in construction, I think everybody thinks that everybody's in the sort of the muck and bullets and it's cold and it's winter and then you enjoy a bit of sunshine when you can, but, but for me, I think the industry has dramatically changed. I think looking at where we are from the digital journey that, that everybody's going on, the whole agile and flexible working policy that everyone's trying to introduce that we've come through from COVID. And then I look at the support services and group services that support the business, whether that be through design or finance or people. I think there's a wide range of skill sets out there that I don't think people who want to join the industry are aware of. So for me, I think the industry's got to do better on on the rules and what opportunities were there because I think we can really attract people to the industry. I think we've just got to make it a bit more attractive um, than actually some of the, the roles I think that's perceived in construction. For me, we should never overlook female talent. I've got some really senior people in, in my team um, who are females and doing fantastic jobs. So for me, we should never overlook the female talent. I think we need to sell the industry more to women. I touched on selling the, the industry to, to, to everybody, but. I think we've we've got to be out there and you know making it attractive to to females and understand exactly what what's out there and what that looks like. Um, it's not it's not the big macho um, industry anymore. And I think for me, um, I think we've got to change the perception and be more attractive. I think also I look at our executive board with with Alison and um, Karen Brooks. I think having women leaders is really important. That that other fellow women and female can see and strive towards the goal that then they get. And also obviously Linda Thwaite obviously heading up um, the whole communication and marketing front is, is fantastic of seeing that, that female talent at the forefront of the executive leadership team I think is brilliant. But I think for me it's developing the strategy for change. I think as a company that we've got to make sure that we're prepared to change and we've got a strat strategy and McAlvines have definitely got that and we're, we're on a good journey but there's definitely more work to do but I think for me it's it's a just continuous let's raise the awareness let's look at every opportunity we can and that's an all front of the business and I'm sure that one of the important things is obviously addressing the pay gap so for me let's make sure that the whole industry looks at that and I know we are as a business but I think we've, we've got to do better than we are now so um, so yeah I think we've done a lot of work but I think there's a lot more to do and um, as an industry and as a business we need to make sure that that's at the forefront of our mind.